In this video, we will see how we can add resources to our Android application and we'll start by adding some images to um, our application. Let's start by creating a new um, Android Studio project. I will select an empty activity and let's call this image application. And I'll keep the same settings. I'll keep it um, the language as Java. I'll keep the API level at 15 and I'll click finish to create the activity and the project. Now we have the main activity.java and the activity underscore main.xml. Now any resource that we want to add to our um, project will be added to the resources folder, which is the res um, folder. So if you expand it, you'll see you already have some folders in here. One of them is the drawable, and this is the one where you will be pasting or adding your images. There is another folder here, which is mip map, and you will see that we have actually here the icons that we had for this application. Notice that each one of these images have the same name. However, each one of them is for a different resolution. And in Android, you want to keep an eye for that. Your Android application will not be running on the same um, device. So you might have multiple types of devices running your application. And each one of these devices will have a different resolution. So it's really important when you add your resources, especially the image resources, that you have different versions of that resource. Each one of them is targeting a different resolution. So this way, whenever you are running your application on whatever type of device, your application will be displaying a good image and it will not be um, a blurry image or even a big image that will not fit in the screen. So that's something we need to keep in mind when we add image resources to our application. So again, when you are adding resources to your Android application, you have to keep in mind all the different um, densities that you have for different screens. So usually we start with the MDPI, this is our baseline, and this is about 160 DPI. We go up to HDPI, which is 240, DPI, um, XH DPI, which is 320, XX HDPI 480, and then triple X HDPI, which is um, 640. So if we had an image that is um, 48 by 48, the MDPI, the baseline, the HDPI will be um, 72 by 72, the XH DPI will be 96 by 96, XX HDPI will be 144 by 144, and then the triple X HDPI will be 192 multiplied by 192. So again, we try to provide all these different densities. So when we are running our application, we'll be picking the um, image that is com um, compatible with the screen resolution um, or density that we have for, um, for that device. So let's go back here to Android Studio and import an image. The easiest way to add drawables or images to your Android project is actually going to the resource manager in here, clicking on the plus sign and then import drawables. You'll be presented with a select path pop-up and you can select on your drive from your drive where you have the image. This image will be imported to your project and will be added to your project. So if I clicked on cal.png, this is the image I'll be adding. Now, in this window, you'll be able to select the qualifier. So what, for example, if you want to select the density qualifier, what density is this image um, for? So is it for medium density devices, um, 140 um, DPI density devices? You can select any density that you want. Or if you want to display it in any device, you will add no density. So this will be for any device. So it doesn't matter which density the device is, this image will qualify for that um, application. So usually what we try to do is we can have um, an image with a high density and then we can scale it down to the different density um, images that we have in another um, image processing application. Since this is not a um, design course, we are just going to add an image with no density and then import it to our application. So you'll see we have this um, image in here. If you go back to your project, you'll see this is the image and notice that we have the no DPI on the right in here. So now that the image is available in our resources, we can actually add that image to our um, layout. So I, I'm going to minimize this and I'm gonna delete the hello world that we have here, the text view. And we can add an image view um, and drag it to the middle of the screen in here. 
So this image view, when you drag it, it will ask you to select a drawable. For example, if we want to add the cow image that we added, we can go to the project and click on cow, and that will be added to our image view. Notice I do not have any constraints, so I still have the red um, notification in here. So I'll put it to align with the top of the parent, the bottom, and then the left and the right. So it will be centered to the middle of the screen. So this is my image view and it's displaying this image. Let's go ahead and run this application on the emulator and let's see how it will be displayed in our emulator. So now my emulator is running and we can see we have the cow image displaying on the center of the screen. So let's go ahead and add another um, view in here. I'm going to add a button. I'm going to align it to the bottom of the um, image and then center it in the screen horizontally. And for this, um, for this button, I will set the on click. Let's um, set the on click for that button. I'm going to search for the on click. And let's say um, change image in here or change. So when we click on this button, we will change or we will go to a method called change. We have this thread because we do not have a method in our main activity.java called um, change. So let's go here in the main activity.java and um, create that method. So it's public void and change. And we will be taking a view v. Notice since we did not import it yet, it will give us this thread. So I will press alt to enter and that will import the view for us, the view class. And then we have the uh, method change. So what are we want going to do in, when we click on change? Let's say we have this cow and we want to add or change the image. Instead of cow, we want to make it now a horse. So the first step, I'm going to import another um, drawable. So I'll go to the resource manager and then click on the plus sign, import drawables. And I have the horse.png in here. And I will click OK select qualifier, I'll just keep the density with no density. So we'll have the same um, qualifier and import. We see we have the horse now. If we go to the project, we have these two images. So what I want to do is when I click on the button, instead of displaying the cow, I want to display the horse. So let's go to our activity. The first step is actually to create the image view. So I will create it in my class. So image view, and this will be called, let's call it image view. And then in the onCreate method, I will initialize that image view. So image view will be equal to find view by ID. And then r dot ID dot, and we have the image view. So now we have this image view Java object pointing to the XML image view, and we can do any operation we want on that image view. So in my change method, which is the one that we will go to when we click on the button, I will change the image that we have in that image view. So to do that, I will use my image view object, image view, and call a method set image resource. And I will pass the r dot drawable. This is the folder that we have the image in and then dot the name of the image that we want to display, which is horse. So now we have everything ready. Let's restart our application, check our emulator. We should see now the cow with the button when the emulator is done or the Android Studio is done installing the application. And when you click on the button now, you will see that we are displaying the horse in here. Now notice that the image actually changed in size. Why did this happen? Because we are using the wrap content in our activity main dot um, XML. So when we click on this image, let's remove the on click search. You will see we are using the width and the height to wrap content. If we want to display it the same size, we can do match constraint and that will fill the width to the constraint. If you want to do it with the height to that match constraint, that will set it to the full screen. And that's not what we want for the height. So we can put it to wrap content and that would wrap it to the image. If you want to have the um, button as your constraint now to the, um, to the end of the screen, what we can do is we can put it down here. And this is the button, it's mapped to the 
um, bottom of the screen. And now the cow, we do not want it to be aligned with the bottom of the screen. Let's delete that constraint. So I'm going to delete it from here. And I want it to be mapped to the, to the bottom. So let's delete the constraint from the bottom here. And let's map this to the top of that here. So now we can have this as um, the width for that as wrap content and the height to be wrap content or match constraint. So that will expand it to the size of this, um, of this screen. So if we run it back again, it's installing now on the emulator. If we click on the button, you'll see that we have the almost the same size for the horse and for the cow. Now, if you click on the button again, nothing will happen because every time we click, we are just making the image equal to the horse. And let's say that we want to switch. So every time you click, whatever image is here will be switched to the other um, image. What we can do in our Java activity is actually have a flag. So let's create a Boolean flag in here. So Boolean um, flag, and let's assign it to be true. And when we click on the button, we want to check. So if the flag is true, so if flag, we want to set the image to horse. If it wasn't true, we want to make it as cow. So when we have um, the flag as true, we want to set the image to the horse and we want to change that flag to be false. So when we have the flag as false, we, we know that we have a horse. When we have the flag as true, we'll know that we have the cow. So else we want to set the image view to be um, cow. So control C and then control V here and I will have the drawable um, be the cow. So we start with the flag as true or we can actually initialize the flag in our own create. So I will create the flag here equals true in our um, own create method. So we start with true. Since the flag is true, we are actually displaying the cow. So we'll set the image to horse and we'll make the flag false. The next time we click, the flag is now false. So we'll go and set the image to cow. And we also need to change the, um, the flag back to true because we have um, the cow. So flag equals true. So if we run this application again in the emulator, every time we click on the button, it will be switching between the images. So it's installing. So when we click it's horse, when we click it's cow. So we keep switching between horse and cow in our application. Another way to do this is actually to assign a tag to your um, image. So what we can do, we can go to the XML here and add a tag. So Android tag, and then we can give a tag to that image. So for example, this tag is cow. So this image is cow. So we are giving it a tag um, cow. So when we go to our main activity now, we do not need a flag anymore. We can go and check what image we are displaying. So to get the image or the tag, we can use image view dot get tag and that will return the tag that we want or that we have for that image. And then we can compare it with to um, using the equals method. So get tag will return a string and a string object and we can try to compare it with the um, string cow. So if the tag is cow, that means we are displaying a cow, um, a cow image, and we want to have the image now equal to, um, to horse. So if the tag was cow, that means we are displaying the cow image. So we want to change the image now to horse, and we also want to change the tag for that. So we can change the tag. So image view dot set tag, and we can name this or give the tag for that horse image as horse. Now, if we do not have a cow, we have a horse, we are going to set the image to cow, um, to cow and we also can change the tag. So image view dot set tag, and we can say this is a cow. So let's go and run this. It's going to reinstall and then we will see what happens when we click on the button. So I clicked, I'm changing to horse, I'm clicking, changing to cow and horse. And this is how we can add or use tags with our images um, to, 
check what type of image we are displaying on the screen. So what's the image we are displaying on the image view? Uh, we are using a tag to get that information.